Hello and welcome to part three of this dot project tutorial series. Uh, this series, this part, we're going to be talking about contacts, and we're going to be going over our user admin section. Uh, so let's go. We're going to go right to uh, the user admin section because if you went to contacts, you will see that there's a few contacts. Uh, but we're going to go over to user admin. Uh, because the first thing you need to do to you can always add a new contact from your contacts, but uh, let's go to our user admin because uh, there's two differences between user admin and contacts, and there's also a similarity between user admin and contacts. So uh, let's first create a new user. Uh, now, by default, uh, you will have your admin user, your admin person uh, that has been made for you uh, from the account from the start. But if we want to add a new user, we'll go right here to add a new user. And uh, we just want to give them a login. Press ER, we'll just call them user, and we will call them a default user just for the sake of this. Uh, they are... Uh, they're... they're oh, Julie was administrator, I suppose. Um, and their password will be... Not telling you the password for reasons. Uh, their name is going to be. I'm going to call him Bob Ripkin. Okay, just as anything. And the company we made previously was called Fred Pizza. And there is no department. We have not set up any departments yet. Now uh, that will be in a future video. And we just want to give them, uh, give this person a contact email. And uh, I don't believe we need to add any other additional information. You can add an email signature if you'd like. And you just want to make sure that you say inform the user of their account and hit submit. And I do not want to remember this password information. That would just pop up for these last pass. Now, so now you can see that's going to bring you to a detailed page of all the information you've added and if you are fine with adding permissions. So this is your permission section. There's two parts to adding a user, just keep that in mind. Uh, you could say, hey, what kind of, you know, maybe you just want them to go to just the company's module or uh, all modules, but you don't want to make him an admin and allow that. And you want to be able to allow him to, um, to view it, but you don't want him to access anything. Uh, we'll say access interview, uh, but we don't want him adding anything, we don't want him editing anything we certainly don't want them deleting anything uh, this is going to be a uh, user account as if we were setting up a website for this person uh, for this company Fred's Pizza and Bob Rifkin just has to be the supervisor and says hey I want to be able to track what you guys are doing uh, so we so uh, this could be used for in-company tracking as well as out company tracking uh, and that's basically what I'm doing I'm setting up a user right now and that user would get th this email would get information saying, "Hey, this is your username, this is your login, this is your password." <laughs> and uh, just go ahead and remember this is our second step here. Say add, and I think we I thought we said add. Okay, so oh, okay, so this person already has. The permissions already set up uh, as to where their permissions are. Okay, again, this is a user, so uh, now that I did just set up that user admin, you can go back over to click on user admin and see that the user is Bob Ripkin. Now um, I'm gonna, I will show you uh, a login from him at some point in time, but we first have to get everything all set up before we even start to look at his side of the view. Uh, so like I said, when we went to user admin, we see that Bob Ripkin's right there. Now we go to contacts, and now we are also going to see Bob Ripkin under in charge of Fred's Pizza and with this email address. If you click on this email address, it will try and open up uh, Outlook Express or whatever you use and try and send an email. Uh, and that's that's how user admins would go into contacts. Now let's go into contacts. Um, and we'll say new contact.
and we will call this person. Uh, oh, what's their? We'll call them Jen. Let's just say Jen, and we'll also call her Ripkin, just so we can keep it nice and simple. Display name. It's gonna automatically just do a display name for you, but it is a requirement. Uh, the job title, what company she under. Now she is also under Fred's Pizza. Uh, the department she's in, her title, type, and everything like that. So if she is in a, you know, you can select departments. Now we haven't set up any departments at all yet. So we cannot select the department because we haven't created one yet. And let's just say she's in the, um, let's say she's in public affairs, PA. Okay, and her title is whatever head or this somewhere, whatever this you're gonna add on all this information. Maybe she's in uh you have information about her. Maybe some things have happened and you wanna add some contact notes. Uh regardless, you guys can do all this. Uh you guys probably wanna set up an email and all that for them as well. But uh for this we'll just try and do this and we'll hit submit. And now you can see that Jen Ripkin has also been added uh, right here, and she's also and she's in charge of Fred's Pizza. Now, watch what happens when we go back over to user admin. Uh, the only two people are the admin and Bob Ripkin. So that is the difference between adding a user and how it goes into contacts, and how contacts is not going to users. So just because you create a contact does not mean it's going to become a user. Uh, if you create a user, it's going to automatically become a contact. So that's how that works. And uh, you can obviously experiment with that around, but users are user admins are strictly only for um, clients uh, or uh, for people that need to access this account uh, for any reason, uh, whether it's just a client that needs to go in and access it, so that they can view your tracking data, so they can see where you are in a project or in projects or make it so you can submit tickets, which is up here. That will be in a later video, or they can access the form and all that. All that will be in a later video. But this is the only time you're going to be adding a new user admin is if you want them to be able to access and see the data. Uh, your contacts are only strictly for uh, holding your contact information for of all your clients. And sometimes you won't even store your clients, uh, all your con clients' contact information here. Sometimes you can store it uh, somewhere completely different. So sometimes you may not even be using this as a full uh, option. So, but that is how you add contacts, and how that's how you add a user admin, and that's how one can affect the other, but the other cannot affect one. So, thank you for watching this tutorial series. The next tutorial series, we will be going over more in depth about uh, tax, uh, the tasks, the projects, the contacts, and all uh, uh, the tasks, projects, forms, tickets, and uh, other and more in the future tutorial series.